Adidas played a huge role in in this phenom, <laughs> the Sebastian Telfair High School phenom. Um, you know, because you know they was paying and you know providing the resources for us to you know be like a team like a prep school because a mm -hmm. prep school they get them type of services where they get a, a van or a bus to um to the games or they get uniforms every year et cetera et cetera adidas made us like a, a prep school at the time and that that was super super unique for being a public school in the middle of brooklyn where them teams don't go travel to la travel to louisville travel like we travel so so many so many times and a lot of that was based on being on adidas uh budget facts mm -hmm. You said the deal kind of gave you comfort. Did you get too comfortable or you were just, you you were official, you was ready to roll now? No, nah, Adidas deal, supposed to give me some comfort. Adidas deal actually never gave me comfort. Now, maybe, maybe uh, comfort, uh, I want to say comfort. I would say um, help me make my decision as far as going pro. Because I wanted to go pro. Everything in my body wanted to go pro. It was just going to be how I was going to get um, some people around me for it to make sense. You feel me? Every time we're on the court, I'm the smallest dude, all this type of stuff. So once the Adidas deal came, it made sense to people around me. So it was like, just it just it just made it make sense. And we got to get back to Adidas, too. We ain't letting Adidas off the hook like Go that, ahead. too. Though. We, tell, come on, you gotta, bro. tell us what you need to tell us. Now, because Adidas was was a big part of me making my decision to go to the league and everyone um, know about the deal, obviously, because it was in a movie. And um, so everyone kind of even the owners of the NBA during my time in the league, everyone looked at me like I had that deal and that money came through my pockets and it didn't. You never touched none of that? No. I ain't, I ain't touch, I ain't touch. Hold on, that was like a $12 million dollar deal, $13 million, dollar, and you get the none of it? It was, it was $15 million dollars salary uh -huh. base, and then they had other incentives, incentive, uh -huh. which was $10 million, mm -hmm. five million, you know you're gonna hit. Like, average 21 minutes, mm -hmm. that type of shit. 72% from the free throw line. I mean, um, me and Adidas been doing, I was, I was Adidas baby, basically. I'm the first, and only person from eighth grade to play in ABCD camp, um, put their sneakers um, and market them the whole time when I was in high school, like you know for for peanuts. Um, that S thirty one T that the kids talk about, I see it all in the comments. I used to wear that band when I started doing that. Me and uh, Jay Frost, you know, um, my guy from Coney Island, he works for Flawless. He got the Frostbite show and all that, but he's an alumni of Lincoln. He made that for me. And then Adidas seen that on me and they started putting, then I seen the T, Mac, one, whatever, whatever. They started doing that for all the Adidas guys. So I've been around Adidas for this for a long time. And when you watch the movie, like I said, the, the bro day and through the fire kind of go hand in hand because that's where they came to my community and watched me play at, right? So then when we get Adidas, they understand that we coming from kind of a street ball setting. You know what I'm saying? We from Coney Allen, we playing street ball, the N1 mixtape and all that stuff is lit at the time. And when they asked Adidas, why y'all signed Sebastian? They said, for street credibility. Like that's what they answer was. And regular, regular living my regular life, um, some street turmoil when I was a complete victim, complete victim, in the situation and they get to snatch the money back off the rip mm. a year two years into the deal and i'm like nah that, that that wasn't protecting me that wasn't that wasn't helping me at all facts because if they would have put any type of only thing they said if you don't get drafted the deal is void mm. other than that that's supposed to be my money I, I i ain't going for that and when they took that money back me and my family never functioned the same way that's why my career was like that. And everybody looking at me like, what's wrong? Like, what's wrong? Mm. <laughs> Fuck y'all, I mean, what's wrong? A lot was wrong. Facts. And I, I kind of, today I kind of blame that on Adidas. Because if you come get my son right now, and I'm watching you with my son and taking care of my son, and then y'all walk him all the way over there. And then the first hurdle he got to jump over, y'all don't jump over that hurdle with him. I would have a problem with that. Mm facts like a real problem like that like a real problem like a real problem so where's that, that shit like did you sue him like where's it staying like what like what's the it deal? was so much shit going on nobody cared about that money at the time it ain't make sense and i i was a kid so i didn't understand that i was protecting my security 
You know what I'm saying? My security. When I mean my security, people mean like you being safe. No. When you become an adult, when you're not a kid no more, the most important thing that you're going to, I'm talking to the kids now, the most important thing you're going to have going on is your security. You having the welfare to take care of yourself. You having a house, a car, some income, the way, a way to take care of your babies. That shit, the number one thing adults is thinking about. I'm not guessing. I'm telling y'all. So them taking that away from me. Like I supposed to stop everything and went and, and got the lawyers and went and fought with them about that money. Facts. And they see I'm not functioning right after. Look at my first two years, perfectly fine. They take the money, I'm like a whole different player. So I asked myself, I'm like, not to keep putting Braun in my story, because Braun know I love him. I don't have not a single bad bone for Braun. Like I'm Braun biggest fan when it comes to it, right? But take the Nikes off of Braun his second year. Does that help Braun? Did Nike take John Moran money? Nope. It don't make sense. So why or how they was able to take that? So I bring that to light because I'm like, yeah, at some point I would like an answer. And Adidas, maybe they do want to give an answer. They probably got an excuse, but it's only an excuse. Because like I said, you would never be able to explain to me if you, I'm watching you with my son. Like my, my son is... 14 years old, I'm watching you give my 14 year old son money, 15, 16, 17, him wearing your product. You fly him all over the country and then you give him some money to make his decision because, I mean, that shit would make anybody decision. You keep it a band with you. If you got a decision to go to college and not, and they put $20 million in front of you, what you gonna do? Mm -hmm. You ain't wanna hear nothing about college. So I feel like with that, Money should be guaranteed. Facts. Was it guaranteed in the contract? Yep. It that's says crazy. if you don't get drafted, the contract is that's void. It. Other than that, that's your money. I'm going to keep it real. Brown's going to do his thing in, in some flip flops, but I understand what you were saying. I, I agree like with you. The mentality. I agree the, with you, but Michael Jordan sit there and he would say right now, Matt wrong. I couldn't have did that without uh, uh, Nike because it's how you do it. I said the way we was, I became that phenom is with them on my side. And um, high school. Right. So, no, you don't become Braun, don't become Braun without Nike like that. Y'all, no, stop nah, it. Nah, hell, Braun be going to be Braun. Gonna be I understand Braun what you're saying with flip flops and the numbers and all that, but stop it, bro. The, uh, so, you're trying to tell what, me that. What was your shoe so, joints don't help join? J joints don't help join mentally? As far as what? Just the mental Men side? The of mentality. It? You're trying to tell me join sneakers and everybody having his sneakers on did not help Michael join mentality? Nah. I, I would disagree with you. I mean, I think at the end of the day, they was going to hoop regardless, though, is what I'm for saying. For sure. For sure. But there's levels and the ceilings to when you're going through your journey and opportunity that you get. Okay. Nike set those out a different type of way. Mm -hmm. And now if it goes right and you're a great player, yes, they they um accolades help Nike also. But nah, Matt, stop it. Stop it. No, I still believe so like the commercials, the, the ah-ah. That motherfucker's so, going to no. so, regardless. So think about it. Hold so on. So you trying to tell me- Reebok, he wouldn't be- um, and he was wearing um, who's tell me a player for he was wearing Shaqs. He had to wear Shaqs. If he was wearing Shaqs, he wouldn't be LeBron yesterday. No, the commercials and all that. Yeah, he probably have his numbers, but no, he won't be LeBron. No, you talking about like the the the, the business, the the the. It business all goes hand it? in hand to become the icon at the end of the day. So you're, so you're saying that you're not so in I'm, my head. Not talking about actually playing, you're talking about the overall playing too. Nah, these motherfuckers are gonna do what they're gonna do. Regardless. I told y'all what Kobe said to me. Y'all can't guard me. Y'all got here on the bus. I watch y'all get here on the bus. I got here on a helicopter. I didn't even know Kobe took helicopters at the time. Let him rest in peace. Love your soul, Kobe. In the locker room. So I'm like, oh shit, like his, we can't guard him because he's taking a, we, you feel me? It's levels. <laughs> <laughs> it's levels, man. I know you don't understand. You, you, I know you probably ain't have your own sneaker. You know no, what I'm saying? No, I it's levels to I, this. No, no, I'm not even. It's I'm, levels I'm to it. I'm not going to argue about the levels. What I will argue about is, is, oh, Kobe would have been this Kobe. Out. MJ was still MJ, okay. and Braun would have been okay. Braun. I'm glad I understand you're maybe that. on the business. Ask Gilbert. Nike, Ask Gilbert Arenas. Ask Nike Gilbert Arenas. Is a monster. I Ask get that machine. Hibachi. But that's not taking Ask away from Mr. How they Hibachi. Play on the court. Ask Mr. Hibachi. Agent Zero, one of the hardest dudes to guard okay, in the cold. league. Ask him. Was, Ask him. He was Hibachi with the Adidas on with that contract before any turmoil. Nobody looking at him crazy. So he got. So he got any turmoil. He said to himself. He got hurt though too. Bassie, he, he, got he, he, he didn't mention he got hurt. He didn't mention he got hurt. He wasn't. He didn't same, mention that. Let me he tell you what he said. Let me, let me tell you what he hurt. said. Matt, let me tell you what he said. He okay. said after 
the situation in the locker room, when I got back on the court, I noticed everything outside of the, ninth, the, the lines. That's what he said, man. Oh, no, I agree. That could probably penetrate this kryptonite wall. For sure. And anything penetrating the mental, you're done. I'm not going with Braun and uh, MJ, though. But let, we can move you on. You name it two dudes, so it's, that's, that's type of hard. But, man, stop, boy. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Nah, I'm not getting up there. You. I'm not getting up there winning three championships, all that movie, book, and all that, and would end up being without uh, Adidas and Nike already taking care of my family, me seeing my mama straight off this and all that. You're bugging. <laughs> yeah, but you could be like that. Nah, I can't function. I seeing my mom straight off for y'all out there and practice doing all that shit. Facts. Nah, I mean, I, I mean, that, 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 I guess that's you. I, ask, I respect. Ask Braun. Braun gonna say, yeah, bad, bad. You know who with anything? What's stopping? We was already, we was already in high school, already getting the little extra stuff, and we was already had that mental edge on dudes. It's a mental edge. To whether, no, whether, whether you want to look at it, it ain't what's on you. Whether you want to agree you. or not, it's a mental edge when you walk out there. Dude's got your sneakers I'm on. I'm not mad at that. I don't know Michael Jordan. I don't know Michael Jordan, but I've seen stories of him saying when when he's getting to bumping gums on. with people. Wait, yeah. was the first thing he mentions that. Yeah. You got take my, my goddamn my shoes, shoes off. He told Jack. So don't tell me that's not a mental edge. I had my own sneakers in the stores, high tops and low tops. That says Sebastian Telfair. Actually, I wrote my nickname on them. That said Bassy. So don't tell me if you don't know. Don't no, tell me D Wade. No, no. Don't D Wade. D Wade didn't want to wear no other shoes. He don't care if them shit said Ching Ching. That shit's better said D Wade on it. Don't tell me if you don't know. You don't know. No, I don't know, but I definitely it's, do it's, know that. Yeah, it's levels to it. Westbrook is Westbrook. He got Westbrooks it. out there. But There's like, a lot but, of. But, but hold on. But Kobe went from Nike to or from Adidas to Nike. Why did exactly was, he didn't where go from? He, and them shit still said Kobe Bryant on it. He went from he went from where he should have signed where, 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 where he was to where he should have signed off the off the get go. Yeah, Point blank, should have been Nike. I ain't tripping off that. Nah, I, I really we could we could agree to disagree, but Matt, I really feel that. Yes, no, you know, I mean, you that was your life. Yeah, you got that was your life. I'm, I'm not. No, gonna I'm telling you about life. Braun. Yes, Braun got a mental edge right now. Y'all thinking you crazy? See all the kids with his sneakers on, all that. If you think that don't play no effect on it LeBron, it has a mental edge. But you're bugging. Be a my bro, my mom's regardless. got a Lamborghini. That don't have that don't have a. Come on, bro, stop it. That do play effect on the game. So that's why you do get dudes in the league. I would, and they, I, I would say this, though. If I had my own shoe and I was playing against a nigga and he walked the devil with my shoes on. That make you feel good. I, I got I'm not him. Say, I get I what him. you're saying, the mental fan, side. Nigga. But I'm talking I about just him. the game Watch itself. out. Pass the rock, you know, man. I got him. Too, nigga. You want to take a picture after the game, too, nigga? You yep. got to point out with my shoes a, on. A couple Fuck people had some protégés, though, didn't they? They were weak just like me with them <laughs> shits on. <laughs> <laughs>